I'm Malia, thanks for coming back to watch another video on my channel. Today I'm going to tell you guys all about the Disney fairies. And no, I'm not talking about Tinkerbell or all of her little friends. I'm talking about something super magical you can do at the Disney parks and it'll save you a ton of money on souvenirs. You guys know how expensive they are, right? So I'm going to explain the Disney fairies in this video and tell you guys exactly how it works so you guys can do it in your family to save a ton of money. And I'm going to take you guys shopping with me so I can show you where to find all these great souvenir items you can purchase beforehand to save a ton of money. Disney Fairies is so magical. My kids love it. In fact, they never ask me for anything inside the Disney parks because they always want to go back to the hotel room to see what the Disney Fairies left for them. So let's get started and I'll show you guys exactly how to do it. Do any of you guys do the Disney Fairies? Like I know I've mentioned it before when I used to own my blog, but do you guys do that? Um, if you do comment below and let us know like where you find all of your great stuff and like if your kids love it, hate it, I mean whatever. My kids literally say at the park, oh mom, that's really cool. That is, looks so cool, but I don't even want it because I can't wait to see what the Disney Fairies bring. And I'm like, yes. <laughs> so um, let's head into Target first and I'll show you guys um, some great things you can get even as cheap as the dollar spot. The dollar spot has so many things. If you guys don't know what Disney Fairies is, let me just quickly explain it before we head into the store. So basically Disney Fairies is the, oh wait a minute. <laughs> Tell all of your kids to leave the room. If you don't want to ruin the magic, you probably want your kids to not watch this video with you. So just heads up. All right, so Disney Fairies is basically just like the Tooth Fairy, Santa Claus, the rest of the other magical creatures. Disney Fairies come to your hotel room when you're at Disneyland or Disney World or on a Disney cruise, and they leave you something magical when you get back from your day at the park. The Disney Fairies did come. <gasps> oh, wow, what are they, guys? We got our new pajamas on, jumping on the bed because it's not ours, huh? Do you guys like your pajamas? I love mine. Um, the way, the reason why this works so well is because your kids are literally looking forward to it all day long. They talk about it. They don't want anything in the park that is mad expensive because they can't wait to see what the Disney fairies brought for them that night. And of course it saves you so much money. Um, basically what I do for my kids is I will just say, hurry, go get the elevator for us. Mommy, she's going to finish her makeup really fast. Go get the elevator. They run out to get the elevator and I hurry and lay out whatever it is that the Disney fairies are leaving. I run and catch up with them at the elevator. And then when we get back from the park at the end of the day, um, the Disney fairies have magically left something on the bed for them. So whether it's like cute, character pajamas or a character t-shirt or Disney princess toys or Star Wars stuff. I mean, it's there and you as the parents can decide how much money you want to spend um, on your souvenirs. The Disney fairies leave, but they will be drastically cheaper than anything you find inside the Disney park. So our family is about to go to Disneyland again. And so I need to actually shop for myself to grab some Disney fairy items so we can save some money. So I'm going to head into Target and hopefully a few other stores if we have time today um, to show you guys kind of the things that I look for and show you guys what I end up buying and and just some other suggestions for you guys to kind of get the ball rolling. So when you guys do go to Disneyland or Disney World the next time you go, um, you'll know where to look so you guys can do the Disney Fairies too. All right, so as we're walking into Target, and before we start this video, if you guys are new, don't forget to follow me here on my YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button um, and the notification button so you guys know when new videos go live. So I can share more about Disney, Disneyland. I have some really cool videos coming up about that. And of course I'll film during our trip that we're going to um, and the new Guardians of the Galaxy ride. Zoom Zooms are really big. This is inside the dollar spot. So whether you grab like a stationary set, I mean, there's lots to choose from. Um, Disney princesses too. Also gonna see like fun coloring sets, paint sets, all in the dollar spot. If you're bringing in drinks, you can get Lion Guard or Frozen. Um, they usually have a lot of this kind of stuff here you can grab as Disney presents for your fairies. Um, these matching games are awesome. Um, sometimes I put these like in their like I don't know, activity bags for either like our plane flight or a car ride. They also have these really cool like erasers right now. Star Wars, remember Star Wars is part of Disney now. So they have some other things. Oh, here's a frozen one. Um, little fun things. Like obviously these are small trinkets. So you can give a couple things as your gift instead of just one. Um, there's frozen bubbles. <laughs> princess bubbles. They always give cute Disney socks. So like if I'm going to give them pajamas, I give them some cute socks to wear too. Um, 
Target usually has like buckets and buckets of socks that are Star Wars. Do you like these are Star Wars ones? Star Wars or Minnie Mouse <laughs> or princesses. I mean, they have lots to choose from in all different sizes. Basically, the dollar spot is like your first go-to spot, I feel like. Sometimes of the year is better than others. Like there's a chalk set that they could take home with them. Um, there's a lot of cool things, but sometimes like right now, there isn't a ton to choose from. Uh, but my Target dollar spot right now is super, super messy. So it's hard to find anything here right now. They need to clean it up. Like a great example of something that is way cheaper here. So a Mickey Mouse hat, $3. Oh, well, I guess it's kind of mis misplaced, but it does say $3. Something like this at Disneyland would cost you 20 bucks. So this is like a great thing to grab and your kids would be super excited about it. Um, they have like full on books in the dollar spot too with stickers and pages to color and a storybook. Um, so like there's legit stuff in here too that you can grab as like a gift for the kids to take home with them. So on the back wall, kind of by like the music and the DVDs are all of these items for Marvel, um, Star Wars and everything. So there's a lot back here that you can choose from, from like collector's items. This is stuff you would give maybe to your older kids um, that maybe don't want dollar spot items, <laughs> but like that work really well. like. You know, they're still not super expensive and way cheaper than what you would find. There's a new movie that's come out that you haven't purchased yet. You could buy this as one of your Disney fairy gifts too. And the kids could watch it on their way home from your trip as a part of their souvenir. Especially if you're already going to buy it. Like, why not make it the Disney fairies bring it and make the trip that much cooler? This is kind of a side note, but these are some of my favorite things to take with my kids on the trip because the marker doesn't actually mark anything. It's like clear. Um, so these are really cool and they come in all different types, not just Star Wars. I've seen them for Disney princesses or Disney Junior. So look for those two and they're only like five or six bucks. Head down the Crayola or coloring aisle and you'll see a lot of things that are Disney related. You can give um, as gifts as well, like either mini coloring pages, considering giving them one of these on your last day so they can do it on the ride home or airplane ride home as part of their souvenir. Even bigger things that you can purchase that are around like $13, $14. It's still way cheaper than what you find at the Disney parks. Next, I'm heading over to the toy aisle because you guys would be surprised how many cheap things are in the toy aisle that would work so great uh, for the Disney fairies thing. Um, puzzles for princesses or Iron Man and notice that there are a lot of things that are on clearance so just take off the stickers so your kids don't <laughs> recognize that but I mean there is a lot of stuff that you guys can get um, and of course you can always use your Target um, Cartwell app for any additional discount. Any of the Star Wars figure figurines are cheaper here <laughs> and we're going to talk about clothing in just a second but here's a sneak peek because it's way cheaper than their 30 to 40 dollar shirts at the Disney parks. Since Guardians of the Galaxy just opened up or is going to open up as the new ride, um, you might want to think about getting some of those items too as souvenirs. There are also small card games that you guys can grab like Zoom Sims or this one's a Finding Dory. Um, <laughs> ignore the crying child in the background. Sorry guys. But there's lots of small items that you can grab too that would fit in a suitcase as well. Now these aren't necessarily like Disney themed but they are way cheaper here than buying any sort of glow bracelet or glow necklace um, at the Disneyland Resort or at Disney World. So grab all of your glow items here for nighttime at the park. Um, it's a lot more fun for your kids and they come in all different sizes and they're only a few bucks. Remember that Disney has little Lego sets that are Disney princess themed or like um, on Aunt Elsa. Um, I've seen a lot of things. They are as low as $5.99 and then the bigger sets are like $24.99 or $19.99 but these would be great gifts and again cheaper than Disneyland. I know I keep saying that but like really when you compare the prices side by side I think you'll be blown away. Okay my kids love the Zoom Zooms. <laughs> they're cute little stuffed animals that are all of your Disney characters and they're like collectible items. So they come in these small ones. They also come and these little packs up here that you can buy. My kids have loved getting these every time we go to Disneyland and they're literally like three to four dollars for a whole pack. Um, and then these I've seen actually on sale lately for around three or four dollars. So there's lots to choose from. They even have like Guardians of the Galaxy ones. Since Beauty and the Beast is huge right now, I would highly recommend you buy your Beauty and the Beast stuff before you go to the park. Um, I'm imagining it to be marked up a ton. So whether you want to get something that's bigger like this um, to bring or maybe just smaller things. Like I think they have like shoes like the Lena ones or like little dolls, um, glam kits, I mean whatever. These are the types of souvenirs that are so much cheaper than Disneyland. 
The Dizzy Palace pets are also really inexpensive at $5.99. Um, you guys probably know what those are from Whisker Haven. So if you have younger girls, they would love these. And even smaller items that are like $2.99 um, that are Disney themed too. So I mean, literally just walk up and down the aisle, you'll find a ton of stuff. And I also want to show you guys these Play Princess sets because there are like $12, $10, $8. Again, really cheap, and they're like a little place that your girls would be excited about. And again, check the very back wall of the toy section because that's where all the clearance stuff is. And um, this is a Spider-Man web shooter, <laughs> and it's on clearance um, for $13.50 instead of $20. Bucks, so that is a great find. There's a Star Wars walkie-talkie back here. I mean, really cool stuff that's on clearance. So it'll save you even more money. I even just found the Disney Princess Toddler Jasmine on clearance for 14 bucks instead of $19.99. So like I said, check the clearance walls. You're going to the hotel pool. They have cute little hooded Star Wars towels, Dory, um, Captain America. He's one of the people you can now see at the Disney parks. And let's quickly talk about stuffed animals or figures because at Target they are $20. All your superheroes, Star Wars, and even Disney characters. Character glasses, sippy drinks, and water bottles galore in every character you can possibly think of. Time to talk about glasses, hats, clothing. I typically get this stuff for my kids, at least one thing. And Target usually has a whole shelf full of it. So you can go through and find, you know, Disney or Minnie, Minnie and Mickey shirts for your girls and boys. And of course, like the superhero stuff, PJ masks, princesses. I mean, it's all here. And I found a lot of it on clearance a lot. Don't forget to check your Cartwheel app to see if there are any clothing clearance or like coupons that you can use on top of any of the purchases you're getting. And I always get my kids at least one pair of pajamas. I try to find the pajamas that are two pairs of pajama in one set. So there's like two connected. Um, so that way if it's $16.99, I'm basically getting each set for a little bit over $8. So I don't like to spend more than $10 per pair of pajamas. So they end up being about $8.50 each. Um, and they have two presents from a Disney fairy at night when they can sleep in their pajamas. Another thing I like to do is get the cute little gift sets that are just character themed. Again, have you guys noticed that I do a lot of character themed stuff? And this one's Star Wars um, that they can get. And I don't typically give those as like a Disney fairy gift, but you totally could with like a pair of pajamas. And yes, I totally get myself a super cute uh, Minnie Mouse or some sort of shirt for me too, or a graphic tee. They have those that are Star Wars too. So I'm always shopping for myself too. Not a Disney fairy gift, but definitely something to add to the map. You'll also find little Lego Star Wars sets um, and other character sets up at checkout. So look for those because they are really cheap. Okay, so I had to take a time out and pick up Rocco from school. That's what happens when you film videos on your mom. Hi, Rock. Hi. Hey, so let's talk about the Disney fairies. Um, I was thinking maybe you could come with me to Walmart and we could look at things that would be really cool if the Disney fairies brought us. And maybe we could ask the Disney fairies to bring them to Disneyland. What do you think? Well, I want to bring a glow shirt. A glow shirt? A glow shirt. Darth Vader shirt. A glow Darth Vader shirt. No, no, I'm a Yoda one. A Yoda one? Okay, what other cool things do you think that the Disney fairies could bring for our Disneyland trip? Mm. We've got some cool things before. We've got bubble guns, guns that shoot bubbles. <gasps> yes. Those are fun and way cheaper at the store. Wink, wink. So don't forget like the nail polishes or the lipsticks that are all like um, character themed. There's Frozen, there's new Belle stuff, um, and these are way cheaper and really cute. Things that your little girls would love. Mom, I want the Disney Fairies to bring this. That is a really good idea actually. So if you're going to head to a Disneyland resort during the summertime, look at all of the toys here at the dollar store um, and find some cute little toys you can bring for the pool because it doesn't necessarily have to be Disney themed if you're going to head to the pool during your trip. Walmart has a wall of character t-shirts and these are typically cheaper than what I find at Target and they have like, like this one, I mean, hello. I'm gonna have to get that for someone, hint, hint, um, when he's not with me. <laughs> but there are lots of options here. I also think that the other pajamas are a lot cheaper here than Target. And the girl side is just as awesome. So Disney Princess stuff, Minnie Mouse, Elaine of Avalor. And again, they're like seven bucks. Character pajamas here are 6.87, which is cheaper than what you'll find at Target. Um, I think it just depends on if your Walmart's better, your Target's better where you live, because there's lots of different options um, from like full pieces to cute little short sets, two lots of little cute girls pajamas too that are all $6.87. Um, some of them are a little bit more expensive around nine, 
but I mean, you see there's a lot to choose from and it's like an easy go-to for a Disney fairy item. I mean, Little People even has like cute little figurines that you could get for like your baby or toddler so they're not left out because your other kids will notice if the Disney fairy doesn't come to all of you. Okay, we found a bubble gun. This one's $8.88 <laughs> um, and I think the bubble guns that we saw at Disneyland were 15 plus, I'm pretty sure. Um, they have a smaller version that's 388, which I actually think is better for storing in a backpack while you're riding rides. So if your daughters like to dress up um, as Disney princesses, um, I would highly recommend that you buy your princess dresses before you go, whether it's a Disney fairies gift or if it's just something you buy ahead of time. The dresses at the Disney parks are so expensive. You can find them even cheaper at the Disney store with a coupon code. You can buy them at Walmart or at Target, plus all the accessories at the store are way cheaper. So even if they just wanna wear a princess crown or earrings or jewelry or whatever, it's cheaper to find it here. And the same exact items are at the Disney store and they're cheaper than the Disney parks. So even if you want a high quality one, buy it at DisneyStore.com and find a coupon code to you to save some money. Just remember, even when money's tight, the little figurines go a long way and you can only have to give one a day. Um, 288 for like the Minnie and Daisy figurines. They have Anna and Elsa sets, um, individual sets like those. Um, smaller ones that are like 484. Oh, that cute one from Jasmine. Um, Ariel, I mean, I think you guys get the idea. For a few bucks, you can get some super cute little trinkets for the, your girls. And another thing to mention is the dolls. <laughs> if you're gonna get a Disney Princess doll, um, again, buy it ahead of time if you can because they're $8.88 at Walmart and that's their like everyday price at every Walmart um, versus like the $19.99 price you're gonna see at the Disney parks. Okay, the last thing that I would recommend is actually go to Amazon.com and type in the word Disney um, and then you can actually filter by price. So you just can find things that are under $5. Click the little Amazon Prime button so you know that they ship with free with two-day shipping um, and they're legit items so they're usually priced better. That way you guys can get like things shipped to you if you can't actually find a time for you to go to the store <laughs> without your kids seeing what you're getting for Disney fairies. No matter how much money you wanna spend, you can totally do Disney souvenirs for your kids without breaking the bank and having a good time at Disney because I'd rather spend my money on like the churros <laughs> or other really good food inside the park instead of the souvenirs. All right, so I wanna do a Disney gift card giveaway. So check below in the YouTube description in order to check that out. Um, I believe it's a $50 gift card. So one of you guys can win that to use on your next Disney trip or for just Disney items you wanna buy for your house. Um, I would love it if you guys would share this video with anyone who wants to go to Disneyland, who's going soon um, or who wants to plan a trip. Um, that way they'll know how to save money the next time they go to one of the Disney resorts. So if you guys are on your phone, you can just click the little share button and it'll share that video via text, a message, a Facebook, I mean, any way you wanna share it. So share it with your friends and family members so they know how to save too. And don't forget to give this video a like and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye guys.